Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sarah Plays Torox, the Brass Bull in Immortal Empires. And if you'll notice, we have quite the elf invasion going on right now. Um, Alariel is sending a ton of armies up my way. Eltharian's trying to also get a stake in the game here as well. I had been focusing on Nagarond, but now I'm really hoping that Sigvald can take them out because I... I need to focus on the elves, I think, but I'm just afraid he's not going to do anything about Nagarond, and then Nagarond's going to somehow build up again, kind of like what happened with the uh, Sisters of Twilight. Oh, Kazrak lost his hero and a gore herd. Um, I don't know if it's worth... recruiting a couple more heroes. He does not have a Bray Shaman. So I could use the Rewards of Dread to get him a Bray Shaman. And I could get him another War Gore. And then I could just have him have a whole bunch of heroes. We'll do that. All right, so he can recruit a war gore. So we have tough, disciplined, strong. Um, I don't know if I had, if I have the discipline already. Who is this guy? What does this guy have? What was his stat? Um, passive ability is resilience. I don't know. That's not what it was. Um, I don't remember what his ability was, but maybe maybe that that uh this one would be good because it would be for melee attack in my army. All right, so I'm gonna get him. And then I'm going to have Torox get a Bray Shaman. Now, which Bray Shaman should I get? I kind of like the shadows. Tough. Although Bray Shaman is nice because you can summon the Saigor, which would be nice. Leadership and leadership and army. Let's do... Yeah, let's do this guy. All right, watch them just immediately get assassinated, and I'll be so mad if that happens. <laughs> All right, so armor, arcane items, gonna fuse. I wish it wouldn't just throw it down to the bottom. Um, talisman. Oh, I hate when they're all different. Armor, armor. I just feel like fusing. And that's the only fusion I can do, which is silly. Okay. This guy I want to give as much of the stuff oh wait as much of the stuff that i can help with discord we'll do that and you and then this guy doesn't have a talisman this guy doesn't have anything and enchanted item okay but now i i've got to level these guys up real quick so devolve um, Bestial Surge, Vile Tide I use quite often, Trader Kin, ooh, Brace Cream. I want Savage Dominion, that's the one I'm going for. Um, Vile Tide, Evasion, Savage Dominion. Mantle of Gorok, I don't use as much as I probably should. Um, Devolve is a debuff that I also don't really use. Trader Kin is good versus character. And I will do missile resistance because we'd be fighting elves here. Okay, so replenishment. I do like replenish troops. Forerunner. So that's the one that the other guy has. I don't think I need to have both. Chaos Warhounds and Harpies. Breakneck Charioteers. Vanguard deployment when using a chariot mount. Cause fear for Tuscor Chariots. Score chariots when using a chariot mount. 
or instrument of chaos replenishment rate is increased by five percent chaos undivided corruption is increased by additional two i might go with this one actually and then blade master is good but also these ones are good will of the dark gods is the defense we'll just go all the way down the line and then we'll go with melee defense a little oops melee attack i should have gone foe seeker oh well i'm not going to change it now okay so melee defense hit points weapon strength he's got pretty low melee defense and then kazrak himself Okay. So then these guys are going to go in his army. But first, Torox has got some wrecking to do. And you're going to run the opposite direction. Of, well, I guess you're sort of going the same direction I'm going. Hulk smash. Shouldn't have taken any damage there. All right, we're just gonna do nice and easy. Raise and advance. I'm gonna raise and advance just to get the casualty replenishment rate. And I believe that's pretty much all I'm gonna get in this area. So we're gonna go ahead and perform this ritual. And did I get? Guess I did get the short victory. Short victory achieved. Ah, short victory achieved. Did I miss the? I thought it was going to give me a pop-up that said, like, short victory achieved. Long campaign. Oh, oh boy. Um, domination. Ultimate campaign. Well, I know I said I was going to stop at short victory, but I kind of want to just keep going. So I apologize to anybody that's like, you said this was only going to be a 75 turn campaign and I am still going on it because it's I'm having a good time. Um, all right. Now we've got some work to do. We have some work to do. So you're camping, that's how you're... Beyond even quiet. How will we do against these guys? That is the question. Um, hidden until discovered. I will lose bestial rage, but I kind of want to see how this goes. Um, Sigor... Winds of magic... Power reserve is important for Malagor. I guess my only other option is I could get a Jabber Slice. Or these guys. I'll go with these guys. Okay. So once again, we've done pretty much all that we can. And now I believe all of this territory is open for them to take because, yeah. So look at all that territory they can take. They can't settle this one because there's a herdstone. Ha ha ha. Oh man, I should have. Oh, I don't like that. I feel like they're ambushing me. I'm ambushing them. It's an ambush battle. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I, I should have started building my other army. Defensive alliance. Ah, whatever. We'll just join Sigvald's ward. Sigvald's wars. And call it good okay we've detected a force trying to ambush us how dare you 
How does this work? Because I can't currently see them. But I'm supposed to know where they're at, but they're not there. So. Alright, we've got some work to do, Kazrak, my friend. There's no rest for the wicked. Alright, heroes should be able to still reach me. Should. No, I want to click on my heroes. Okay. Oh, and I've got this chick over here. I missed her. She's going to be gunning straight for Black Lake Tower. I feel like I'm going to have to split somebody up. And I don't want to. Doom of mankind. But I can get another army. It's just not going to be as good. Um, do I want a Doom Bowl? Beast Lord? Great Bray Shaman. Doom Bowl sounds cool to me. And I could put... Well, the Great Bray Shaman... Would be nice because of casters, but I kind of just kind of want a doom bowl. All right, friend, what are you good at doing? I don't know that I love the pendant of Slanesh. Although I don't really care about corruption. I don't know why I'm worried about that. I don't care. Okay, so we've got bullish metal, ward save, melee defense. Melee defense for Minotaurs. Melee attack. Orgy of slaughter. Um, barbed knuckle boxing. Oh, boy. I kind of like that. And I feel like I want melee attack. And then I'm thinking I could do Minotaurs in this army. Kind of want campaign movement range. And this. Missile resistance would be good. He's already starting with ward save. <laughs> Problem is I don't have very much... I don't, like, don't have any cap. Um, I'd have to spend dread to get more minotaurs. Which I could do. So I could get this, increase the cap, but that's going to be, ex it's going to get real expensive. And it's not like I can recruit them right now anyway. Um, and I probably should have increased the cap to get him a hero. I could put one of the other heroes in this army, but I'm just going to wait. All right. So as far as leveling him up... If I go into Minotaurs, I will want this. I don't know what else I want in this army, though. Maybe some of these big guys. But also, do I want this guy to be strong? Um, well, we'll go this route. Because this is both the big guys and the minotaurs. So we'll go that route. And I think that's all I can do. See, they, well, they can move closer. But I just don't know where they're at. And if I get ambushed, I'm not going to. I'd rather have Morgur be the one to get ambushed. I'm going to stop there because I don't know where they're at. I should have I should have changed them into a... Uh... Oh. Oh! Would you look at this? Would you look at this? Your army was spotted by the enemy before it could spring a... Spring... Jitch. Can't speak. Um, <clears throat> is it sad that I want to fight this because I want to fight with Morgur? 
says decisive and low. What do we got for a range unit? We've got some Shadow Warriors, Sisters of Avalorn. Alariel, Alariel herself is scary because she's a big spellcaster. They do have a Sun Dragon. Which is going to be bad for this guy because he has a weakness to fire damage. Should I just take a decisive victory? I probably should. Although, if he has... So, he has regeneration. Aura of Madness, Guardian, Spirit Essence. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll just... Let me just see, make sure... I'll just have to resolve it. It's fine. That chaos spawn unit took some damage. And hopefully I'll replenish up pretty fast. I was really tempted to fight it and it probably would have been a fun battle, but sometimes it's hard for me to be like, oh, if it says it's just uh, decisive, why would I fight it? Especially when I have two armies there, other than just like the the funness of fighting the battle. And I guess the practice of fighting with him, but it's alright. A new regional power. I love that they said that after are you They said that after I had uh killed their Lord. All right, this is really annoying me. Who has the best assassination ability? Probably one through Bloodbringer. There we go. She was annoying me. Hello, Thena. Okay, so this guy's going to take 2,000 years to recruit, unfortunately. Um, and he can't recruit Minotaurs, so I probably am going to need Kazrak to assist him here. So if I trade... Let's just trade... Some Ungor Raiders. Because Kazrak is going to recruit. This is a regular mind torture. Oh, that's right. Kazrak can't recruit them either. Oh. Bollocks. But I could just increase the cap here just to just to get this army going. Torox is going to be on his own for a second. Um, I could put the Centigors in this army. I kind of like to have them in case of emergency, though, so maybe I won't. Um, I could get Razor Gore herd. Let's see. The centigors are actually not too bad. Okay. All right. I guess other than just being large. So I'll get those guys. Um, maybe I should have had him be a centigor dude. <laughs> All right. Torax can't quite get there, unfortunately. He didn't take too much damage. Don't really want him to be the one that attacks necessarily. We'll just sit here for the time being. 
Okay, Malagor. Let's do... Let's get more of your stuff here. So weapon strength. Your kind of whole thing is just being real tanky. So if I give you defense and hit points, kind of goes along with that. Um, I'll just do mentor while I have it. Okay. I'm just afraid of getting attacked again, and these guys are low, low on hit points. So I'm going to keep them there. The Altar of Ultimate Darkness. What's this? This is the Frozen City. I think that's like his main one, isn't it? Okay. See if Thena takes the bait and attacks Torox. I haven't seen Tyrion. Okay, so she did. It says Pyrrhic victory. Oh, this is a dragon stack. A dragon and phoenix stack. Oh, good golly. I don't like that because they'll just be flying around. So, all right, real quick. Just in case something happens that is terrible, I'm going to just auto-resolve this. I get, like, no replenishment. I'll just take a dip in bestial rage. And then hopefully I'll re replenish up real fast. I just, I don't, I don't know. With that many dragons and phoenixes, if, if it were, if it were high tier units that didn't fly, it would be a different, but I mean, their dragons can fly for a long time until it's like, oh, they'll have to land or surrender this territory. And that could be after they've done a ton of damage to my ground units, so... I do replenish fast. Um, Alright, we've got a lot of issues over here with Eltharian, so... I am very surprised that Tyrion has not made an appearance. I hope I don't get ambushed. Okay. And then this guy... Put him back into Torox's army after he assassinated that one lady. Alright, let's do... Not you. Not you, dweeb. Um... <clears throat> We'll go for... These guys are just going to be sitting here for a bit. Yeah, this army's going to be weak to start. But I do have the ability to increase that. And... I'll just get Dread per turn. Okay. All right, so the Chaos Spawn are looking better, but if I raid, I'll be doing damage to the people around here, so. Oh, shnikes. Our first foray with the good old Mazda Mundi. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm so looking forward to this. In a way, I kind of am, but I'm also terrified. Okay, hit points, armor, charge. Actually, oh wait, you're in Torox's army, so it's not a huge deal for you training because pretty much all of the units are um, like level 9, so... Wolfric, do you want to be my buddy? You want to be friends? Wolfric? Okay, so we still have some armies floating out around there. Some chaos dwarves sending convoys my direction. This isn't great because I feel like 
You just wiped out Sigvald. I don't know, he's down to one territory, so... But he does have black arcs, so that's another thing, too. Alright, this is interesting. And I think there's gotta be Alariel armies in here, too. Oh, this territory that used to be mine is gone. Alright, Mazda Mundi, what are you gonna do? Mazda Mundi is probably ambushing. There's a couple Alariel armies. At a certain point, I'm going to have to just call this campaign and just say, listen, I realize that I'm pretty strong in steamrolling stuff. I just don't quite have the capacity to be in 56 places at once. Alright, so my shaman's back. Is this an actual army? No, that's the convoy. Okay. Um... Okay, so Kazrak can give you the Minotaurs, and I will... Well, I'm going to actually leave him down some units because I'm going to still recruit in tandem. Because you can recruit Goreherd. This guy cannot. Okay, where was my... Ah, here we go. So you're a Bray Shaman of Shadows. You had been... Yeah, you're not this guy. You had been in... Or I was going to put you in Kazrak's army. That's right. Okay. Yeah, so, like, as fun as I am having with this, pretty soon, I'll probably just say, well, we had fun. We had a good run. But, unfortunately, like I said, I can't. It's very challenging to fight all of these armies. It's going to be kind of like Ikit Claw fighting the vampire counts. Is, yeah, sure, I can do it. It's just going to be a lot. And I'm pretty sure Mazda Mundi is ambushing me. And I don't love that I'm just sitting there waiting, but I'm not sure what else to do right now. All right. Wild Heart. Power Recharge. That's pretty good. Smoke and Mirrors. This was Speed. Speed. Okay. I need to get more spells for him. I would say Alariel is appears to be the strongest of the high elves. All right, so is this a black arc? I can't tell. I want to say that it is. This is an army I can tell from the ship, but I just this is blocked. I want to say it's an army. If it's an army, it's going to be fun because it's a full army. Never. No, it's a black arc. Another black arc. Short okay. Alright, so it looks like Sigvald's got quite a few armies. I don't know where Malekith went. Also, I love they can't settle these because of my herdstone. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucks to be you guys. Okay. Um, I'm probably going to have to end it, up, end it off there. With a little bit of a tricky situation. And I'm thinking maybe I'll do one more of these. Because maybe I'll just try to get to 
at least turn 150, like twice what I had said for 75. But I don't know. I, I still should do Kazrak's quest battle if I can remember. I just, he's not in a spot where I feel like he's good to fight that, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. So, all right. That is going to be it for this one, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll come back and see me in the next one.